So we were looking for a boxer for the film and I was doing the Googling and I found an NJ.com article about this Trenton boxer who was a former gang member turned professional fighter. He started training while he was locked up as a way to lose weight and he found a coach when he got out and his coach thought he could make him into a great boxer. My name is Michael B. Tilton. I'm a cruiserweight professional. 7-0, 6 knockouts. I'm going to the top man of world championship. So Kyle messaged uh, Mike Hilton on Facebook. This week we were trying to get the video figured out and it just all came together. Mike Hilton called me Monday, said I'm going to be sparring and training on Tuesday and Wednesday if you guys want to come down. So we drove to Trenton in the pouring rain. You tend to hear a lot of negative things about Trenton, but when Nico and I went down to film, we met some of the greatest positive people that we've met so far. Mike's coach, Coach O, is such a positive, awesome dude, and it seems like he brings the best out of all the people that are there training. Um, they all mess with each other constantly, too, which is hilarious. Yeah, fuck Beast. It's all about his coach. <laughs> <laughs> the place is called Ike Williams Boxing Academy. I think I would recommend it to anybody who wanted to get into boxing and training. It's Ike Williams Boxing Academy. Ike Williams Boxing Academy. The infamous, world famous, one of the greatest pound for pound lightweights of all time, Ike Williams. Out of Trenton. Trenton, New Jersey, the only world champion Trenton ever had. So, I named my gym after the army. Were you a boxer? Yeah, I fought back in the late 80s, early 90s. A lot of awesome people helped us out with this video. Uh, Coach Joe was there too uh, during the sparring sessions. And then two guys you will probably see in the, in the music video when it's done are Derek Starling and Zierra Goss, uh, two awesome up and comers. And Derek actually had a match this past Sunday that I think he won at uh, NJ Diamond Gloves. So that's pretty dope. They call him Mike the Beast Hilton for a reason. I mean, the dude hits hard as hell. If you were standing nearby when he took a swing, you could get knocked over from the wind from it. That's how hard I'm talking. I mean, this dude was hitting bags like pop, pop. And also, if anybody's interested in seeing uh, Mike Hilton live, The Beast is fighting October 14th at the Claridge in Atlantic City. Thanks for joining us for our Q&A. Uh, we, we actually got some questions this week. Uh, Jamie asked, what is the program you're using on the laptop and is this your music recording software? Uh, what program are you using to make videos with? The program that was shown in the video was Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, that's what I use to edit uh, all of our videos and music videos with. I use Studio One. It's uh, the version one of Studio One because I, I can't upgrade my uh, computer right now. <laughs> Vin Finney asks, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I didn't want to give like a half-ass answer for this, so we did some math and at, okay, it was at maximum licking power, 275 licks to get to the center. What's maximum licking power? Like, like a good hard lick. Now, at, at like a lighter licking power, it could be anywhere between 350 and 500 licks to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop. Do you think M&Ms and Skittles are friends? This is Dan Cordy asks. I think they're uh, distant cousins that meet up for barbecues. Jeff asked us, who'd we sign a contract with? Uh, Jeff, we signed a contract with a sync licensing agency. Um, it's non-exclusive. It seemed like a good deal for us. Um, and basically, we've said this before, their job is to try to get our songs placed in movies, TV shows, ads, stuff like that. Steven says, yo guys, how's the new Rumble music video coming along? Steven, if, if you're still watching, you probably already got this question answered. Uh, basically, this whole video is us updating you on Rumble. Um, yeah. It's going well. We're filming the music video now. Uh, we're thinking within the next few weeks it'll be out, and it should be better than the first one was. Yeah, it Thanks, will be dude. better than the first one. It better be. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Remember, if you got a question uh, for us or anything you'd like to say, leave it in the comments. You can also tweet us at Empire Project NJ, hashtag Inside the Empire, and we will answer it in the next final scene. Mm -hmm. See you next week. What up, peeps? If you're digging what me and this kid are doing, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on Facebook. There will always be links in the video, though. Peace and love.